This is not something our parents' generation had to deal with. It's relatively new and wasn't around when they were our age. Sometimes it keeps me up at night. I can't rest, not entirely, until I've finished it all. It gets in the way of me living my life, but no matter how hard I try, I I'm sorry. No matter how hard I try, I just can't pause an episode in the middle and come back to it later. I need to find out what happens next. I am Molly Miller, and I am a streamaholic. Streamaholism is a very serious disorder, especially prevalent today amongst people ages 15 to 27. I've been treating Molly since she was in high school, and her addiction back then was really getting out of hand. My addiction actually started towards the end of middle school. I had watched things before, but never like this. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. There's so many sites to choose from and so much content out there. Usually when a person who's addicted to streaming finishes a show, it doesn't take them long until they're on to the next one. It was a vicious cycle. The withdrawal was the worst part of it. It took over my mind. And I felt a very strong urge to go, to go and watch more. When I wasn't watching, all I wanted to do was make up some excuse to go and put it on. I would blow off friends, family, school assignments, just so I can go and watch whatever show I was obsessed with at the time. Just like how a smoker would use a patch or a nicotine gum, I needed to find a way to scratch the itch when I couldn't watch the show. I found that looking up pictures of the show or the cast could tide me over for a little while. But that could only do so much. It could never be as good as the real thing. I'm pleading with all the parents out there. Don't let your child become what Molly's become. There are signs, and early intervention might just be able to keep them from this life-altering addiction. If your child talks non-stop about the characters or plot of a TV show, this might be one of the early signs. If they know a lot of random facts about the actors on the show, or things that go on behind the scenes, that means that they're already in pretty deep. If they start speaking in quotes from the show, and buying merchandise, it might already be too late. If you're planning on intervening at that point, you have to wait until they've completed that show but haven't started a new one yet, because that's your opportunity. If you stop them in the middle of a show, they'll only resent you for it. If you already noticed one or more of these signs in your child, please don't hesitate to call 1-800-I-STREAM or visit streamaholicshelp.org for more information. Streamaholism is a very serious disease, but we can all get through it if we just learn to pause.